I believe it was just about a week ago today that we made our return to multiplayer over on Verhunga Savannah, and that hunt resulted in an albino kudu, and it made me think we should come back out and try another map. Now, if you guys don't know, Medved was changed with the Reventuli update, and in my opinion, it is a lot more fun to hunt, whether that is musk deer, reindeer, moose, they are far more common, and you end up running into quite a lot of cool things. So we shall see if we can continue the trend from last week, and maybe multiplayer can get us something good. And while we are at the very end of mustier drink time, maybe taking a level one with a zero minimum score isn't the best idea, but I really want to know what that's going to score. None of these look all that big. He is kind of on his way out, but that'll do from the 243 pistol. I still, one of these days when we have the time to do like a proper test, I want to compare it to the rifle. I think there's a legitimate chance it's actually better. And I still don't know, maybe they'll end up changing it, if that is the case. But, it is that good. Ooh. Max weight estimate, not going to be one that would have any shot of being a level 2 diamond, but we may run over there and try to get him. Again, we did a must deer video maybe a month ago, something like that. So, seeing all of this at one lake is not a huge surprise, but it is still a little bit of a shock, just compared to what Medved used to be, but... Let's take a look here and see what our level 1 was. I am hoping at least that the joining and leaving of the session is causing a little delay. Usually you can get them to claim if that's the case. We might be kind of out of luck. And go figure. Couldn't claim the last must here. Go to this server. And there's a little level 1 piebald running off, so we'll probably wait and try to get it to stop just because we don't get a lot of opportunities in something like this. Now, it's guaranteed to be a silver, but something that we want to try to take out, I think that shot may have ended up being in the vertebrae even still. Might have just slightly messed that up. Could be a chance that we could get along there and kind of save it, but... I guess that's the potential positive of having something like that happen. It's not the first time. In fact, I think our albino lion came from something like that way back in the day on Verunga Savannah, making that little connection to our return to multiplayer, but I think I just saw the host of this server left or someone else in this server left. I'm thinking that if we are to have more connection issues, maybe that's an opportunity. I ended up like getting server hosts to where we don't have to worry about the connection anymore. As for now though, Let's see if we can find the initial blood. That is most certainly not vital blood. So unless we made a, I'll call it even lucky, shot as it was running away, gonna end up losing the metal and I don't see vital blood here. So must have shot him in the vertebrae and we did. Follow up was actually about right. Almost had what would have been a saving shot, but still wouldn't have been huge. A little piebald should have been silver must here. We will tax that. Hopefully we will not aim that high again with the 243. But that's actually pretty cool. Good way to, I guess, officially start since the uh, level one was not something we could recover. So back at this lake again, the one where we had the minimum weight and score estimate must here that unfortunately we could not claim. And of course we're in a different server now, so I wanted to check it out. The best I see is this guy up the 240, which with not the max weight estimate, he's going to be nowhere near actually scoring 240, but let's try to get back on track with halfway decent shooting. That will do a little bit better. Hopefully that's going to be the only instance of kind of rushing a shot and a little bit of attempted compensation for range that is just not necessary with this gun. Kind of a bummer that it happened on the piebald, but I guess that is what it is. I don't intend to hunt nothing but must deer though. At some point here, pretty soon I think, Actually, just about starting now, Moose are going to be drinking as well, and I'm really looking forward to getting to hunt them. They, of course, got the texture change and the model change with, I think, the handgun update. They look really good, and I think on a map like this, with the snow and everything, it's just going to make them look that much better. But this guy actually was a 210 better than I would have thought, and even still were kind of high in the lungs. We aimed, like, down here. That pistol is just insane, but... We'll continue on here and see what else we can find before the moose start to drink. Now I will say I've not done a ton of moose hunting on Medved since the changes, 
but I believe we're basically going to be making a circle here. We'll go ahead and take this guy just to take a little more time. Not bad getting a accidental broadside hard shot. Definitely could have done with that a little bit earlier. Shooting in accidentally good ways, but actually that was a decent one that was down there too. But I'm pretty sure this lake over here where we shot the halfway decent musk deer is also really good for the moose. So we'll have to swing back by there and see if they're out in their zones by now. Not a bad deal though coming over here and getting this guy. Brown fur type 189 score for him. And by the way, this little lake here, never at any time in the past that I can remember did moose actually drink there. The fact that they do now is pretty cool. It's a spot that I think a lot of people start their hunts just from back in the day when it was really good for musk deer, brown bear, and reindeer. It's still obviously good for musk deer. I still see brown bear around here. I'm not sure about reindeer, but the fact that there are moose here now is pretty darn cool. Well, it does seem to be a good moose spot, but that's about the only bull. I don't know how that's a level two, but I guess we'll shoot him if for no other reason, it will complete the multiplayer challenge. So we can go ahead and get yet another broadside hard shot, having a pretty decent time with the 300 today. And I mean, that might genuinely be the smallest bull moose I've ever seen. I don't know how it's a two. 63.3, we may tax it. It's a bronze anyway, which is the, I guess the marker I look for for Hall of Shame. It's bronze by 25, but I want to compare it to the other ones that we have. I'm pretty sure we don't have a level one since true racks. We had a level one way back in the day with legacy racks, and those are far bigger even than the level two true rack moose now. So it'll be fun to compare, but uh, hopefully the next moose we encounter is a little bigger than that. Well, on the plus side, I'd say we're getting a little bit somewhere. There's a slightly bigger level two, but even better over here, a max weight four and a three. So I think we'll take this guy, even though he's kind of low on the max weight side. Three for three on broadside heart shots with the 300 as well. When I actually try to do that, it's like a, a mental block where I can't make the shot. Apparently if we just go for it kind of instinctually, it works out pretty well. But we are probably halfway through moose drink time. 1400 is in fact exactly halfway through moose drink time. So... One thing I'd maybe like to do is try hunting for brown bear because we know reindeer hunting is really good and clearly from our brief time here, moose hunting is really good and of course musk deer we have checked out in the past. I kind of wonder, are there other species on this map that have gotten kind of the same treatment where they're all over the place and if you go in their drink time, you can find a whole bunch. I'm thinking brown bear may be like that. So just for fun, I want to check up here it's always been a good lake for moose in the past. It may still be. After that, we may see if we can get to brown bear drink time. So we've got our pick of pretty low level moose and kind of average ones. This three's not too bad over here. There also is a reindeer, but why? Is there someone else on a quad? Why is everything spooking? Do lynx do that now? That could be the case. It almost has to be what caused that. I kind of wanted to shoot the reindeer, but I guess we're going to go ahead and shoot this moose instead. And just continuing the trend there, yet another broadside heart shot. But I'm trying to think back to Reventuli Coast. I don't recall that being a thing. Maybe it has been the entire time and I didn't know it, but that's kind of intriguing. I mean, no one else was over there on the map. We weren't nearly close enough to alert or alarm them. I don't know, like that moose doesn't seem to care, but maybe it's just far enough away. If you guys have seen that and know whether or not the lynx was the cause, feel free to let me know in the comments below. That's the only thing I can come up with, unless there's some kind of other cause, but I thought for a second the brown bear did it, spooking the reindeer, and then the brown bear fled, so it couldn't have been that either. As for this guy though, light brown fur type, I think, Again, we only looked at these at the Trophy Lodge in the last video, I think the one on Reventuli. Almost like gray in color on the back. I really like that. It is light brown. Miss gold by about four, so not too bad. Maybe had he been even with this one? 
I'm not sure because I think we needed the extra width to get there, but double lung and heart there. And let's actually do that. I'm pretty sure we have the host of this server. So we can try brown bear drink time and see how we do. Now, one thing I probably should note is that I can't remember exactly when brown bear drink time is. I feel like it's midnight to 3 a.m., but that may be incorrect. As for now, we're just gonna run around and see what we can find. They may be just walking to their zones. They could be leaving their zones at some point. We're bound to stumble into a track or just spot a bear and find out. But, I mean, it seems to work regardless. Bears and lynx on Medved for sure are just more active at night. So even if we're not in the drink time, we're likely to encounter them just kind of running around. And that was a gray fur type brown bear as well. I thought he maybe looked a little bit off, but it's tough to tell at night to begin with, especially at that kind of range. Now they're not a rare, but an uncommon for sure, and one of my favorite fur types in general. Now, with the changes that came with the Revenue Coast update, they are just that much better. That is such a cool looking bear. Maybe, we'll see if we can find their drink time. Maybe we can do a brown bear grind one of these days and try to get like a diamond gray. I always wanted a spirit fur type diamond. I thought that would be really cool. I'm gonna tax that just to have it. I'm really wondering, would I prefer a gray? It, the odds of getting something like that when there are so many fur types, You've got like four or five different common fur types. You've got gray, which is an uncommon. You've got melanistic, you've got albino. There's so many different things that it could be. It's so unlikely to actually get it, but man, would it be a neat thing. I do find it interesting though. We're past 1 a.m. There's been plenty of time for bears to get into their zones. And yet again, we just have one kind of traveling. Now, that really doesn't tell us a whole lot because even if, is not their drink time. They should be in a zone. So I don't really know what to gain from that. We'll keep the light on, especially when we run by lakes and look for tracks to maybe figure something out there. As for this one, I'm not even sure I can tell what fur type that is. Cinnamon, in fact. 23.15 that we are able to double lung there. And like I said, we'll just keep going and see if we can figure anything out. I kind of remember like 8 p.m. being their drink time for some reason, but if we can't get a zone, regardless of what it is, we might have to just try some different times. Actually, even that might be enough. Most times now, you don't get a lot of animals kind of sharing a drink time, and the fact that wild boar are drinking, which I kind of think this has always been their drink time, midnight to 3 a.m., probably means brown bear are the slot before that. I know it's not the slot after it anymore. They used to be the 3 to 7 a.m. window. It definitely is no longer that. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll switch the time back and try that. By the way, I think that's the first time we got to fire the 7 mil Empress today. I decided to grab it in case we get to shoot a reindeer or wild boar. Finally getting to use it. But I think that's going to be the plan. We'll reset back to maybe 2100, somewhere in there. So hopefully any bears that are slow getting into their zones will already be there. But we can give it a shot for the last bit of the hunt. But... A 120 wild boar as a little bit of a learning thing ain't bad. Did they make their tusks bigger? I feel like that's bigger than they used to be, but maybe it's just that we don't shoot them that often? And go figure. I'm not sure where all these bears were hiding, but suddenly we have three fleeing. That I think is going to be a lung hit, although he's taking a little longer to go down than I would have liked. Maybe single lung or liver should still be good. And I don't know, it might have only been those three. So this is the lake kind of back behind the one that we shot the piebald must deer at. A bit of a hidden spot unless you have a drink zone there, you can just barely see it. And honestly, the hunting pressure is doing us no favors kind of covering it up. But it's a spot that usually is good for just about anything. And nice that we can get what should be a guaranteed gold brown bear as long as that shot was a lung. And even an intestine hit I don't think would take him down that fast. Blood looks promising from here. And I do think we managed to luck out. That is a blonde, I think. It's tough to tell, or gold, in fact. It's tough to tell in the dark just exactly what we're shooting at. I didn't realize it was so light in color. I didn't realize the gray was as dark as it was. It almost feels like... Sort of like the Goose Roulette game that we played. You don't know what you're getting until you get up and claim it. Unfortunately, we're not getting anywhere as far as really high-level bears today. 
another level 6 running off that I think is going to be our last kill if we can get an opportunity. And as he is kind of slowing down there, our chance should be sometime soon. I think we can use the 22 here. I did not realize. I've got all of two bullets here, but one is all we need to get his attention. As long as he doesn't stand up right behind that tree, which is, I think, exactly what he just did. He is alarmed, so we gotta be a little careful. Can we, like, just squeeze that by there? I have no idea if that hit him or not. I guess it did, because he's going down. I suppose that'll work. Not exactly the normal way to take one down, but we'll get it. So this time it appears as though maybe we got the red-brown for type. That's the cinnamon once again. I wonder what the difference is. Especially with the new textures, it may take some time to get used to that. 24.48 though, at least we got a gold to wrap up with. Barely into the right lung, but that works out, and we'll jump back to the trophy lodge then to take a look at our piebald musk deer. And if there is an additional plus to having shot a rare musk deer in particular, it's that in our second lodge, a lot of these like small platforms aren't filled, and we can actually throw our musk deer on that. Interestingly enough, a lot of medved stuff here. We've got the musk deer. This was a piebald lynx that I'm almost certain was medved. It was May of 2022. I guess it had to have been. And then the albino brown bear from the same day. I guess it was. I do kind of remember that being the case now. So getting a bunch of cool medved things in here, despite the fact that we don't hunt that map that often. But again, given the changes and just how good the map is now, I think that may change. I'm really wanting to do a reindeer hunt sometime in the near future here. Maybe get more of these guys. We'll kind of see how that goes and when we can schedule that. But as for now, it was just good to get back into multiplayer and continue the trend of getting a cool little rare as we're out there just checking out a map that we haven't explored too much since all of the changes. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.